He doesn't talk much about himself. He's quite busy, like a busy person. I would say that he, at some point in time, he got to know that he likes to carry girls, like, and he smokes, he drinks, and takes drugs also. So I don't know deep about him. His character, he gets angry easily. He has issue with his wife, so, but his children is what is targeted at family man. He wasn't into happy married life or something. It was just more of catching for his kids. I can't remember some of his friends that I've met, but like, remember their faces kind of really old, their names, but I've met some people that I said friends something. I don't have 10 million in my bank account, so I have like 400 or 500 accounts. Michael gave me um, his laptop. He had two laptops, so I told him that I wanted a laptop, so he gave me one. And that was what I sold to get the money. It was a Mac Pro. I wasn't doing nothing when I was with him anymore. I was getting more from the him than doing the ushering, so there was no need on ushering. Ushering can be 15k, 20k. It gives me more than the ushering. The apartment where it was said it was leaking. So then they said I should book. They said it was free and I too was free. So like less fancy. Um, it was Sunday on the 13th. Yeah. I decided to check online about the um, short legs because it said that I didn't want to put out. They will not be nasty. So like it's not be fun. Like being in the house or something. So that was when I decided to check for a shortlet. So I sent it to him and he said it was okay. Then he said I should go check the place out. So I checked it and it was okay. Then he made payments. He sent 105. That was for like four days. And after I paid the money, so after like one hour, it came. When he came, then we went to get food. We went out to eat and also get drinks. And we we'll just be, we we'll just indoor, watching movie, drinking, smoking. He woke up before me, but I was still feeling sleepy and dizzy because of the smoke, drink, and the drug. So he asked what and what we I need, like what we need. So I was like. Um, we need to buy food and drug because the the drug that we brought already finished. It sends the money to their account. Why the other one? It gave me the card because I was trying to make payments and it didn't go through. So it gave me the card. I didn't have access to this card, but I I know the pin code. Before I was leaving, it stood up to lock the door. But when I got in, I was knocking. Uh, as there was no answer, I opened the door. Was already open, like it wasn't locked. And the duvet was on the floor, plus pillows. The the bed, the couch was facing the door, and the bed was stained with um, blood already. And um, the floor where it was was blood, and then music was on, the TV was on. The room was already disarranged, like someone broke in. Then I saw him on the floor. I didn't know what to do. I took my things with this thing and left. I was just, I was afraid. I didn't know if I have raised alarm, they would have arrested me for doing it because I and him were just the only people in the room. I was, I just, I just left. I was packing my things to leave. Then I noticed that my clothes were stained, so I changed it to another. 
I took the bag that contained his ID and documents, bank statements. My bag was already on the floor. I met my bag on the floor. And then the stuff it was with was, was on the TV set. That's where the stuff I took was on, on the TV set. So I just packed them and just put them into the light on and left. I took his phone on um, the following week. I was home, then I went out to withdraw some money from the um, ATM that I was with. I withdrew 200. Before that day, um, on Tuesday, you already told me that he's going to give me the money that I requested for. And when I came out, when I was arrested and they were saying I made away with five million naira, there was no five million naira in the account. I just did it. It's not like I had something to do with his death. I never had anything to do with his death. The lady that I rented the, the apartment from, I had to make it hard that she should please probably send the security guy to check on him that I haven't seen, I haven't heard from him. That's what I said to her. And they came to my house and they arrested me, took me to the station. I didn't involve anybody. I don't know who must have come into the apartment. Definitely somebody did that, but I don't know who that person is. I don't know what happened when I left to buy the food. I don't know. Because of the thing I did after not alerting police and then also withdrawing money, I feel guilty for what happened. I did not kill him. No issue whether I did not kill him, but my doings, taking his money and not reporting the police, I believe that somebody knew where we were and then waited till I left before they could enter. The pressure and people, when I was confronted security guy and it was like, no, nobody entered into the apartment, that it was just me that entered into the apartment and knowing full well of what I did, withdrawing his money, I just took the blame on myself that since no one believes, let me just take it. No one is influencing my statement. I've not spoken to anybody, my relation or anybody. I've just been in the in the self since.